And this wind looks real good whenever you're throwing giant top waters. It helps to have just a little bit of chop on the water, especially with the sun being bright. It helps break up that light penetration. So if there's any fish up there shallow, kind of gives them the confidence to come up and brush that oversized top water. Some of the best places to throw a, the mega dog here is in those waters where, you know, there's a good chance of catching a four plus pound fish. Um, wherever there's, you know, your, your local lake that's got four, five, six pounders and a good abundance of them. Obviously the bigger the bait, the bigger the, the fish. Um, but especially true when you know you're seeing signs of gizzard shad, signs of rainbow trout, the larger than normal bait fish. Those are the kind of lakes that you want to throw this mega dog on. As far as retrieve goes, there's a couple different ways to, to retrieve this oversized walking bait. Uh, right now we've got some chop, some wind coming from behind. The wind is always good, so uh, in order to really make that bait stand out, I'm going to go ahead and cast it out there. And I'm gonna give them some real hard chops, chop, chop, chop. And it's gonna walk and it's gonna spit at the same time. So whenever there's wind present, I'm gonna go ahead and give it those chops, chops, chops. And it's gonna spit a whole bunch of water, making it more appealing to those fish underneath that broken up surface. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, whenever it's slick calm, I'm gonna go ahead and cast it out there and give it some real nice glides, real easy glides. Just pull, pull, pull pull downwards, there's no spitting action whatsoever, and it just kind of glides to the left and to the right. And that's gonna be your most natural, um, you know, wounded gizzard shad or wounded trout style retrieve that you could give this oversized top water. But since we've got the nice chop on the water, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it some real violent chops and get that bait really spitting. I want a big, large presence in the water. Again, I'm looking for those five plus pound fish up shallow. You know, just going down the bank here, I'm, I'm seeing little flats and little drop-offs. And with my polarized glasses, I could see little shade pockets, you know, in those water willow clumps and also in the reed clumps. But it's, it's imperative with any walking bait, but especially the larger walking baits, to make pinpoint casts. Yes, that's a big piece of plastic, but it's important to make pinpoint casts. You gotta make it look as natural as possible. Make it look like that big gizzard shad that's fleeing out of, out of, the, out of the bushes or you know, out of the shallow vegetation. Pairing the Mega Dog here or giant topwater walking baits with a Destroyer Mark 48 rod. It's a seven foot eight rod. 50 pound braided line. Again, this is a nine inch bait or so. And to put it into little target spaces where those big fish live, that's absolutely imperative. It's no different than throwing a frog or throwing a popper. Put that big bait where those big fish live. And you wanna do it nice and smooth. If I see a nice little pocket right up there, I see a little bit of water willow up there with some reeds with this rod seven foot eight, I can really launch that bait but you don't want to be too overpowering with it. You want to kind of finesse it as the bait starts to land in that spot. You don't want to spook the fish, but as you wind up and cast it in that pocket, you kind of want to stop the line with your, with your thumb and just kind of lay the bait in there. And then you start your retrieve and that's how you get the big ones to react. I'm just waiting for a giant to eat that. It's just like swim bait fishing when you know, you're throwing this uh, larger than normal bait I want to target the most obvious pieces of structure or the most obvious spots I could possibly find. I do the same thing with the 8 inch mag drafts, 10 inch mag, mag drafts. Here we have an end of a pocket and we've got a real obvious tunnel here and it's just a big fish spot. You know, it's a real obvious spot. Any angler that comes by is going to cast to it. But whenever you're dealing with larger than normal baits, fish the most obvious looking spots because more than likely the angler before you isn't throwing a bait that big. So that's a really good way to catch the biggest fish on those real obvious spots.